Now, um, I'm going to spit out some facts um, out there, but um, for those of you that do not know, for people out there that do not know, Georgia um, is our, or agriculture rather, is a Georgia's number one industry. Mm -hmm. um, employees, one in seven Georgians. Um, and the thing that I like to say is it, even if you're not connected to it, even if you don't necessarily work in it, it affects your life every single day. If you eat, agriculture is responsible for that. So um, with that being said, I want to go into, you know, this tool is for everyone. Um, it's, it's like you said, it has, we're going to be putting, there's going to be some issues on there um, that people need to kind of maybe look into. And it's all geared toward educating people um, with more of an agricultural twist, if you, if you will. Um, with that being said, you know, why should someone out there that maybe isn't connected to agriculture, or maybe they are, you know, why, why, would, why should they care about local agriculture um, and, you know, and, and how elections, big or small, local or state or even federal, affect them? Yeah, and I think you really hit on it a little bit there. I mean, the, there's, there's really two, um, what I like to think of, two big reasons that agriculture matters and local agriculture matters. Um, first, probably the most obvious that comes to people's mind is, is eating. <laughs> it's like people like to eat, people like to wear clothes, and agriculture is a product of that. You know, in Georgia, we're a big timber state. We're a big cotton state. Um, you know, that, that, that puts shelter over your head and that clothes your body. Um, you know, we grow everything from cash crops, but we also grow a ton of food crops, and fruit and vegetables. We grow um, just a plethora of commodities across our state. And so not only does agriculture feed you and clothe you and provide you shelter, but also in kind of what you just said, agriculture is the backbone of our state's economy. I mean, it's the foundation of our state's economy. It's the number one industry. Um, we have an $84 billion impact on the state of Georgia. We have about 17% of our state's GDP is tied to agriculture. Um, so it, if Georgia is to be successful economically, um, which I think most people will agree is, is really important, agriculture must be successful. Um, but not only statewide, you, know, you talk about local agriculture, if you bring that down to your community, you look at the rural economy across our state. Um, the rural economy is built on agriculture. There's a lot of communities across our state that their largest industry is agriculture. I would say most counties in our state, their, their main industry is agriculture. Um, and, and that's not just the farmer. I think a lot of people kind of lose sight of that sometimes. Um, agriculture doesn't just stand up the, the farmer that grows the crop. It also is responsible for transportation in, infrastructure and in, in the transportation industry. You know, we rely heavily on a lot of these farm supply stores and a lot of the, the mills and the gins. And, you know, there's really just, there's so much more to agriculture than what a lot of people think of. They, a lot of people, when they hear ag, they think of the farmer. And they think, well, if I'm not putting the seed in the ground, you know, I don't really have a role to play in ag. Um, but but the, the ag picture, the ag effect, if you have it, is so much greater. And that, that ripple effect is really felt all throughout our state um, through various industries and through, through a lot of industries.